Our project looks at how biodiversity differs between two areas in the New Forest, one of which is a more urban site than the other. And we also look at like the underlying vegetation that may influence the biodiversity we see in these areas. Unfortunately, we have come across some problems with um or well, just nature being nature really. So um, one of our methods was actually like placing pitfall traps into the ground and like leaving them overnight, not in the forest though, and seeing what comes out of them. But um, halfway through today, we actually mm. noticed that birds were diving in and taking the insects out of them, so. <laughs> so it was getting less recordings than what we should have. Uh, but to counteract this, we've been doing a lot of other methods to, uh, get a broader view of the biodiversity in each area so we've been using um, sweeping nets and we've been doing like lots of walking transects in the different areas as well. It's quite nice because we've mm. actually been able to use a range of different methods that we hadn't actually done before so personally I've never touched a sweeping yeah. net before in my life so <laughs> that was interesting to understand the methodology behind it. I'd say it's quite a well-rounded module because mm. sort of the first graded piece of work you have to do is a presentation and for that you kind of have to look deeply into one specific aspect of the forest mm. and despite being sort of a biology module it's quite um, widely sort of ecologically based so you can do anything that has um, yeah. that's like anything that takes interest in you yeah. and can be found in the new forest you get the opportunity to actually go deeper into that and also watching other people's presentations Quite yeah you get to see a lot of things that you wouldn't have even personally gone and looked for in the first place so like what was one of them like european hornet yours was on a water shrew yeah oh yeah poison yeah and then sort of the like the next part is like keeping a journal and again i'd argue like it's another skill that's quite mm. important for the future because you know so first of all you're doing presentations and then you're sort of keeping notes and reflections and sort of looking you have to look like deeper into one sort of phylogeny or yeah taxonomy. and you can relate other articles to the work you're doing and it becomes more relevant to what you're actually studying in the new forest as well it's quite satisfying to yeah and book. it's just a nice break because like you've got that build up to the final coursework it's quite nice because you sort of feel ready to sort of mm. start a main project which will then sort of be graded on and you have to follow through from beginning to end yeah so you build up on prior knowledge that you've learned throughout yeah. the course and you apply it to what you're doing in your report also it's really like as you can see the weather it's really mm. quite <laughs> nice to spend two days in the new forest it's true I'm not destined to work behind a desk nine till five. So I feel like this is, again, a good experience for that. Yeah, we've seen a lot more than we'd ever see sitting in a lecture, looking at some slides of insects or different arthropods and stuff. I've like, what have we seen? We've seen lizards, yeah. we've seen weevils, uh, slow worms. We saw a dormouse, Hornet. yeah, Hornet. Hornet. Yeah, we've seen so much more than we would expect to see. It's all very well sort of looking at lecture slides and reading it, but actually it's, I don't know, something about being outside and actually seeing it makes you learn it an awful lot quicker. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that.